Thanks so much for staying with us on Indiana's Most Wanted. Indianapolis police looking for your help tonight solving a violent robbery at a store. So it happened at the Family Dollar Store at the corner of Emerson and 16th on the city's east side on February 4th. And joining us now to talk more about this is Steve Du Bois, Director of Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana. Steve, good to see you, sir. Thank you. Uh, let's start with the robbery. What exactly happened? This was a very violent takeover style robbery of this store. Not only did they zip tie one of the employees, they came, there were two of them. They took over the office. Um, they were armed. And it, it was very aggressive. I mean, they knew what they were doing. They were hanging out in the store before hours. One of them left. The other one was then let the other one back in after the doors had been shut. Mm. So they knew what they were doing and they had a plan and they executed it and they ended up getting both into the office and into the front registers. Okay, we're taking a look at images here from surveillance video or camera. Uh, what do we know about these suspects? We know they're two black males and what we want to do is have the people take a look at these pictures and see if they recognize because you can see they've kind of tried to disguise themselves a little bit. Right. But if there's something they recognize, whether it, it be a part of clothing, something like that, please let us know. Give us a call, 262 TIPS, and we can. the detectives can take it from there. The next question, uh, twofold. Uh, did they get away with anything? And also, how did they get away from the store? They got away with cash, undetermined amount, but obviously they got both into the um, office and to the, the register. So somebody had a lot of cash laying around, might want to give us a call. And they both left on foot. Uh, I would guess that there was probably a car somewhere else, but no, none of the cameras and none of the employees saw them get into any vehicle. And no detail is too small. We want to remind everyone. Uh, so what, what do we do if we have some information that we want to pass along? First of all, remember that just because you call doesn't mean that we're going to go lock these guys up. Um, but anything can help. And if, you, and if you have something you think might match something to this, go ahead and give us a call, 317-262-TIPS. You can do our mobile app, P3 Tips, or you can go onto our website, crimetips.org. So we're a couple of weeks into the first uh, into the to the new year. How are things going with you guys? You're receiving a lot of calls. A lot of calls. Uh, January was record year or record month again for the past five years mm. uh, or six years. This will be the sixth year in a row, and we've moved to brand new offices. We're going very digital now. Great. Mm -hmm. Anything to help get these men and women behind bars. Steve yep. Du Bois with Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana. Thanks so much for being with us once again. Thanks, Thank Steve. you. All right, still to come on Indiana's Most Wanted, home security cameras becoming more and more popular. But how expensive is it to set one up? We'll break down how to get started. And as we go to break, another one of Indiana's Most Wanted, 27-year-old Yancey Griffey, wanted on a violation of probation on a charge of a serious violent felon in possession of a firearm. Call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS if you have any information.